Hey, what's up you beautiful lights of the world and welcome back to another video with Rara Avis. We're going to be making a quick lazy vegan dinner, one of my favorites. The ingredients that you will need to replicate this meal are super simple. Your choice of beans, I used half a can of pinto and half a can of black beans. You'll also need potatoes, steamed tomatoes, and a head of iceberg lettuce. Now we're ready to get cooking with a nice cup of tea. I'm going to take a minute to chop up some of these potatoes. And okay, hey, I'm not an expert, so please don't judge my uh, cutting style. But I'm just going to chop these up into nice sliced wedges. I like to boil my potatoes first, so you'll see me do that and get that all set up in a second. Okay, so here we go. We're going to drop off some of these sliced wedged potatoes into boiling water. Just be very careful that you are not just plopping them in there, otherwise you'll burn yourself. I'm pretty sure that's self-explanatory, but sometimes I'm a goofball and I just go ahead and I'm so eager I toss them right in. Just don't splash yourself. Be very, very careful. Yay, okay, so now we're going to get all ready to make that little bean mixture up. This is so simple and easy, and this is going to be actually the base of the staple of our meal today. So you can see me um, opening up those cans of beans, and I'm just going to toss them in. Typically, what I'd like to do is even maybe allow some onions and garlic to saute before I even put the beans in. I didn't do this here, but that's okay. Now I'll just be adding, adding in your choice of seasoning. So for me today, what I used was some garlic powder and some onion powder. Also, you'll see me grabbing for those red hot chili flakes because they are delicious. I love a little spice. When you're finished giving your beans and seasoning a good mix, we're going to lower the heat and put a lid on it. So back to those potato wedges, all they need to do is really boil on high for about maybe two to four minutes, really nothing long. Then you're gonna drain and rinse them, and then you're gonna get ready to salt them. So start to pick out some of your seasonings ahead of time. So I totally didn't tell you how long you should be cooking those potatoes. Really, I don't set a timer. I just keep checking and seeing until they're as crispy as I want. Um, so sometimes that can take 25 minutes, sometimes that can take 30 minutes, sometimes it can take 45 minutes. So definitely pop those potatoes in before you start creating your bean mixture. Yum, they already look so great. I love potatoes. It's a really, really nice source of just energy and carbs. I love them. So you're going to see me grabbing some garlic, salt, and paprika. I also want to mention, you don't see me doing this here, you should douse, douse, or even toss your potato wedges in some extra virgin olive oil or your choice of oil again. But you definitely should do that to give a nice crisp base to those potatoes. Then pop them in a preheated oven to about 350 to 400 degrees. Now you're going to add those stewed tomatoes to your bean mix, add a little bit more chili flakes, recover it, and let it go. Alright, so I burned the pan. But it's cool. My dad showed me how to add a little liquid to it. A little slide cabinet chardonnay and it still tastes pretty great. And that was a quick fix. Now all you do is plate it up, scoop it into your lettuce cups, and top it with some avocado. Hey guys, and that's it. That's my quick and easy and lazy vegan dinner. One of my go-tos, um, you can switch out the beans anytime you'd like. You can add more veggies, absolutely 100%. Sometimes you can put it over rice. It's really versatile and that's why I love, love, love it. Super easy, super simple. If you guys love it, please let me know. Try it out, put it down in the comments if you love it and give me a share if you don't mind. Give me a subscribe and I hope to see you next time.